Now for bisection of this angle, take your compass, put on the initial point, make a cut without disturbing it from the first point, make the cut from the second point, make the cut easy. Now join them from the initial to the cut point. This is the bisection. If it is 60, then that will be 30. 30. This is the easy bisection. So it means the same process you can use to make the 45 degree angle. You have 90 degree angle, then bisect it. To bisection, we have already this thing, the first initial thing, this. This is already done here. Now from this point, one arc, from this point, the second arc, bisection, you have 45 degree angle. So these are the specific angles we need to make. Now we have one more angle to make and this angle we need to draw it is 135 degree. To do this again we will follow the same process. This is the line point where we need to draw the angle. Take the compass. Mark the half circle. Same process you need to follow. It means 60, 120. Now in this 120 and 6 thing, this is the 120. From this 120, from uh, this point, make an arc, this point, make an arc. From the point of 180, from the point of 120, make two arcs and join these cut points. If you join these cut points, you will have 135 degree angle. So this is the 60 degree point. This is the 120. Here you will have 100 and sorry, you will have 90 degree. From the bisection of 90, you can make 45. With the bisection of 60, you can make 30 degree angle. With the help of 120 and 180, you can draw 135 degree. So these are the standard angles we need to know uh, how to make these angles with the help of our compass. So be familiar with these equipments, the compass, the D, your scale and set squares. The mostly used thing is our compass. We need to know how to handle our compass and it's very easy. Just one sharpen point we need to care about and the second thing will be our pencil. Okay, so these things we are cutting are known as arc. We cut these arcs and obviously it's very easy task. Just put your compass here some point and you can make your arc. Always remember when, then, uh, when making these type of angles, once you have chosen the length of your arc, do not disturb your compass so that you can make the exact uh, your angle. Okay, so this is the end of your geometrical uh, practical where you can make some shapes, some exact shapes we can say, some circles you have done an initial point, then we know how to make the equal line segments, line segment is given and then another line segment which is equal to that. Then we know how to make the perpendicular and the perpendicular bisectors. The perpendicular is only a 90 degree line, but perpendicular bisector is a 90 degree line which is making two parts of a line which is making two pa exact parts of a line segment. Then the angle bisector and angles, angles with the help of D and angle bisector which is bisecting or we can say making two equal parts of an angle. Then some specific angles which is 60, 90, 45, 120 and 135 degree.